here. So the Badminton Centre, the North Shore Event Centre here in Auckland, where we've seen first the women's doubles and then the men's singles. And the next match coming up is the women's singles with Sayaka Takahashi, the number one seed against Minatsu Mitani, the number four seed. And both of the players are from Japan. And as you can see the draw, we have two Japanese and two Chinese in the semi-final. And uh, the other semi-final is already uh, confirmed that Xiang has uh, confirmed her place into tomorrow's final. But who is she going to meet, Takahashi or Mitani? Our next match on court one at the Barfoot and Thompson New Zealand Open is women's singles semi-final action. Would you please welcome in an all-Japanese clash between the numbers one and four seeds. First up, the top seed, Sayaka Takahashi. And the number four seed, Minatsu Mitani. Your umpire, Simon Lin, New Zealand. Service judge, Susan Taylor, Australia. And here we have the referee and the service judge who's going to umpire this match. And uh, first here is Mitani. And secondly, Takahashi is coming here, the left-hander, the tall left-hander. And uh, Takahashi is 1-0 uh, up in the uh, meetings between the two players, but that's five years ago at the World Championship in 2013. So that's not anything to go by, that's for sure. And first here we've got Sayaka Takahashi. She's 168, 25 years old, and she's 19 on the world ranking. Her Highest ranking ever is 11. That goes back to March 2014. And uh, she's been out with an injury for quite a while last year and now back in the game, which is really nice to see. Her way to this semi-final, she's not really been tested at all. Won all her matches in two games. And the quarter-final against uh, the player from Thailand only lasted 31 minutes. And Mitani in the picture here is 26 years old. She's ranked 37, but she has actually had a top 10 ranking. She was number nine back in October 2013. And her ranking today is 37, which is not a true reflection of, I think, her capacity. Japan is having a whole host of women singles players, so many really, really good ones, and uh, it's a force to be reckoned with. And her way to this semi-final, just like her opponent, not really been tested, winning all her matches in two games straight. And here we've got the umpire ready for the match been seeing him on the bus from the hotel to uh, to the hall on a few occasions his name is simon lynn from uh, new zealand and as the players are warming up i'm sure we'll have a picture of the uh, service judge as well and that's a, a well-known figure in international badminton Susan Taylor from New Zealand someone we've seen often on the international circuit
Takahashi just asking uh, the court to be mopped after this men's singles prior to, to this match. And the two boys has been sweating heavily, so of course the court needs to be mopped. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Minatsu Mintani, Japan. On my left, Sayaka Takahashi, Japan. Sayaka Takahashi to serve, level, play. So Takahashi, ready to get this match going. some uh, interesting information about Takahashi. She is the younger sister of Ayaka Takahashi, who is the women's doubles Olympic champion. She won in, uh, in Rio in 2016. So it's, it's a good badminton family. Good net shot. Very tightly played. Two, one. And I've been watching Takashi playing over the years, and I really like her spirit, her fighting spirit. And uh, whatever, whatever happens, she's always going the full distance. And you can say the same about Three, her opponent, one. Mitani. Exactly the same. They fight to the very end. Matani uh, got a bronze at the World Championship in Denmark in 2014, and she won the French Open in 2012, where Takahashi um, won the Australian Open in 2013, Four, one. German Open in 2014, Vietnam Open in 17, and this year, Swiss Open in 2018. So far, the player in the picture, Takahashi in total control, 5-1 up. Playing in a higher pace, really uh, attacking her shots very well. That's in. Beautiful slot shot by Mitani here. Super very over. nice recovery shot. She was in trouble. Two, Look at five. this. Look at how well she's going to play this one. Look at that trouble, but still hitting almost the line cross court there. Perfect shot. Super Soba. Six. Two. That's well left. Must be out Super by sober. a very small Three, margin. Six. The 
this is why I think perhaps so Takahashi has got the edge. Seven, she's got the three. height, she's got the smash, she's got the angles. She's a very nice attacking player. Uh, Mitani, she's relying completely on her running skills, getting it back, getting as much back Eight. as possible. She's three. not really playing with that much initiative, you can say that she's more sort of catching up player and uh, following her opponent player. So um, I think that uh, Takahashi is, uh, is a more dangerous player to play so because she's, she can really Four. raise her game to another Eight. level now and again. And obviously Japan is having two players in, in top 10 already. Yamaguchi, who just made world number one a few weeks ago. And then, of course, the world champion, Okuhara as well. So uh, Japan is a very, very strong force in, in women's singles. Five, eight. The interesting thing about the, uh, the Japanese system is that it's more or less decentralized. A lot of players are playing around in clubs and uh, and then uh, not normally uh, all players are in the same clocks, they are in different clocks, so uh, different coaches are coaching them. But obviously they have a lot of centralized training as well, where the national coach, Park Japan from Korea, who's been in Japan for about 10 years now, has done a wonderful job there. Japan has really risen under his uh, charge. And uh, that's how, how it works in Japan, uh, very contrary to other nations. Super Sova, six. Nine. Two over. Good net play here, but Ten, Takahashi. Six. Very tight, impossible to control for Mitani. Super's over. Seven. Ten. Two simple mistakes by uh, Takahashi here. Mitani closing the gap at 8 10. Good lift. Well left. So three points in a row here for Mitani. Nine. Closing the gap, ten. just trading 1.910. This is how the match is going to be, I think. Uh, Takahashi always trying to, to get the initiative, playing the shots, go for the pace, go for the attacking shots, where Mitani is, is the one that will be running and running, getting as much back as possible as what we see here, waiting for the mistakes from Takahashi. And uh, it's almost been four in a row here, so 6-10 now, 10 off. And make it 11, five 10, in a row. Interval. And obviously, as it is when uh, two players from the same nation are playing one another, there is uh, no coaching. This is sort of a code of honor that you know you have to fend for yourself. And uh, of course, this is how it is. So as you see, no coaches on court.
Court 1, 20 seconds. Court 1, 20 seconds. So after a good start for Takahashi, 10-6 up. She's suddenly trailing 11-10 here at the mid-game interval. Play. Perfect shot. Almost hitting both lines. Wow. The sideline and the baseline. That was very nicely played. Takahashi attacking that wow. net really well on the backhand side, getting it early, playing this spinning net shot. Not possible for Mitani to, to lift it. That's cleverly played. A lot of players will tend to go cross court on a situation like this, and this is what actually differentiates a lot of players, you know, from good to being really good, because it depends on your skills and your ability to play shots like what Takahashi played here, rather than going cross court as what would have been very normal and very natural. She actually played it down the line, which not a lot of players can do. And this one is going out. She tired it again here. So it's over. 13, four. She cannot afford that. So many mistakes 16, lately. 13. Now trailing 13, 16. And it's, it's two simple mistakes here. Look at that one in the net. And Mitani, of course, very happy with the, uh, the way things are going. She's not really doing 17, much. She's just 13. keeping it in, keeping it going staying with her opponent, waiting for the mistakes, and at the moment is paying off handsomely. 13, 17. Ah. You can see even here, Mitani 13. had the opportunity to go cross-court smash. It was quite an open court, but she chose just to go across court clear and waiting and waiting and waiting. Super Soba. 14, 18.
Yeah, this is how it should be. 15, if she wants to win, 18. this is the winners she must make, and not the mistakes that we've seen for the past, let's say, five to seven minutes. Two, it's over. 16, 18. Well, that's uh, a challenge coming up. Minatsu Minta Mintani challenges. Call it's close, out. but I think the linesman has uh, given a good call here. Challenge is unsuccessful. Challenge is unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 16, 18, play. Correction, 17, 18, play. That's wide. Sub is over. 19, 17. Crucial time in the match. So important to get this first game. And now three game points, 20, 17. 20, game point, 17. And game over, 21-17, as the umpire confirms to Mitani, 21-17 in 17 minutes.
And here we are, back in the second game. Minatsu Mitani and Sakaya Takahashi, both players from Japan. It's fighting it out here in that semi-final to enter the final for tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, that's going wide. So Takahashi off to a good start. Two love. Two love up. It's a risky shot. Really well recovered by Mitani. Managed to get it all the way to the baseline virtually from that deep backhand corner. But that cross court shot by Takahashi, that was a risky shot. And it was going way wide. That's what she needs. She needs that little bit of luck. Three, Had a good net cord here. Apologizes straight away. Three all, but this is this is what Takahashi needs. She needs to, to step up and start not start stopping making all these unforced errors. She's not really under pressure when she's doing it. Here we have another one that's unforced. She's going very tight to the net. In complete Four, control, but still making three. the mistake. She cannot afford that. She must stop making these easy mistakes if she's going to win this match. And uh, of course, I'm sure she would do anything she can to win it. It's over. Four. All. Oh. Yeah, well played by Mitani. Very nicely disguised that reverse Four. drop shot. Super over. Sure, we've got to see it here now. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Five. Good aggressive return of serve by Takahashi. Five, six. But somehow for the match really to ignite, I think we, we need some more long, grueling rallies here. There's too many mistakes too early in, in the rallies, so we don't really get these long rallies six, where we can see the players are really pushing one another. But maybe it will come a little bit later. It's good serving wide. It's good 
variation to serve wide now and again. And then that cross-court smash, really well executed. Good play. And Takahashi is 7-6 up. Seven, six. But somehow you also see herself as uh, her own worst enemy, because uh, when she's playing no mistakes and really keeping in it, she's playing exceptionally well, but of course, when all these unforced errors are creeping into her game, then it becomes, as I say, her own worst enemy. Oh. Eight. Yeah, that's right in the corner. Nine, so Takahashi into six. a good spell here. From four, she's now nine, six up. First time we see Mitani be more aggressive. Nicely played. That net exchange was really good. Ending up Takahashi winning it. But this is a change in women's singles we've seen over the, over the last, let's say, five years. That the net play is coming much, much more into the game. And it's all about also, like in the men's singles, controlling the net is an important edge to win your matches. Takahashi has taken the lead 11 6 in just 10 minutes in this second game of the women's single semi final. I'm sure a lot of things are going through their minds how to play, and uh, when you normally have someone you can bounce it off with, you can talk to your coaches, they talk to you. Probably that's you know, an easier situation here when you Court have to one, do it all by yourself. It one, requires a lot. Seconds. And this is some of the rules that uh, the BWF is actually looking at, trying to um, minimize um, the, the influence on the coach 11, during six. play, which means that play. Uh, they're looking to maybe uh, move the coaches further away and... Uh, looking at um, how many times they can go on court and so on. So it's an interesting development. Yeah, good play. Good play by Takahashi here. Getting once again very early in at the net. Mitani wow. here is the one that's recovering Six. the whole time, the one that's trailing. Look at that. That's nice. Nine. Six. Nine. Thirteen. So suddenly the situation is all reversed now. It's Mitani making a lot of unforced errors and uh, Takahashi is on top and leading 13-6. So let's see whether we are in for yet another three-game 
We had three games in, in the women's doubles, and we had three games in the, in the men's singles. And maybe we're going to have three games here in the women's singles 14, as well. In the six. first three matches of this afternoon. Fifteen, six. Yeah, you have to make sure that you hit the proper length when you go across the court, over the centre of the court. And when you play a tall player like Takahashi here, she was just very simple to put it away. And yet another mistake, and we are 16-6 up, six. 10 points advantage. It's over. Seven. Sixteen. She had the initiative all along in this rally. She was controlling it completely. Eight, 16. And having this opportunity with the cross-court drop shot. And she knows she shouldn't have missed it. But I must say it was very close, very tight. It was at the top of the tape. So uh, not one of these where it lands in the middle of uh, the net and not even close to getting over. That's a good, very nice clear, really good clear. Very nicely disguised, just holding it slightly Seven before over. she's punching it, and then moving her opponent, Mitani, slightly forward before eight. she's punching it. And that was really nicely played. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's the same shot we saw Cypher Neath do in the, in the previous match. Controlling it very nicely. And here, Takahashi did the same opponent way back on the baseline, waiting for the shot. And ten point lead still. 18 8. Two is over. Nine, eighteen. Three, two. Oh, that's going wide. Two Very is short over. rallies. 19, Three, four, five shots. Nine. Four, two. Over. Ten, nineteen. Oh, that's a very, very nice attack. That you don't see very often in women's singles. The drop shot setting it up very nicely, but the way she rushed in and secured the first game point here in the second game, 20-10 up. This one, that's a beauty. Two 
this over. 11, 20. Twelve, twenty. Play. Takahashi secured the second game. Second game won by Sayaka Takahashi, 21-12, one game all. In 18 minutes, confirmed here 21-12. And it will be interesting to see how this match is developing in the third game and final game. Will Takahashi be able to control the game, not making so many mistakes? And will Mitani be able to keep it going as what she normally does. smash placement in the first game by Takahashi and here we got them in the second game and uh, as you can see she's left-handed and she favors to to attack that backhand side of her opponent court one 20 seconds court one 20 seconds yeah, badminton is a very physical game to play and uh, a lot of players are carrying what I would call potential injuries and uh, it'd be ankle injuries, knee injuries, um, back injuries and of course elbow and so on. So it's, it's a very demanding game and, and you will see a lot of players are wearing protection as what Takahashi is here on her Level. right leg. Play. So we're ready for the third and final game. Surely you can see on the face of Mitani, she's not happy. She finds it a simple mistake. And of course, the way she plays, I couldn't agree with her more. This is one of the shots that she must keep in. That's wide, that's well left. And it's a good start for Takahashi, 3-0 up. Three, love. Uh, it's not in the picture, but you should have seen the face of Mitani. She is not happy with the mistakes that she's made here early in the third game. Oh, that's a lucky one. That's a lucky one. 4-0, hit Four, top of the love. tape, 
rolling over. Nothing you can do about that if you're in the shoes of Mitani. This is uh, one of the areas I think that Mitani should uh, exploit a bit more. I know she's not an attacking player, she, she's having this running game, but Five. when Five. you see her attacking uh, Takahashi on the forehand side of her body, that's definitely a weakness and something I think Mitani should try to exploit a bit more and be a little bit more aggressive uh, because these body smashes is definitely not something Takahashi likes too much. Six. But here we are, love. six love up. What a start for Takahashi to this third game. <laughs> Suvisova. One, six. Good shot. Options were many. She so could have gone straight down the line, follow up. Seven. She chose to go cross court One. here. Equally good. Totally out of reach for Mitani. Oh, nicely disguised here. We saw this reverse drop shot again. One of her favorite shots. Two. I can see she plays that with Seven. great confidence. found that was the very important so point for Takahashi. Six Eight, love up, three. and then instead of 4-7, it's now 8-3. And keeping that cushion of four or five points constantly, I think could be crucial to, to the win of Takahashi here. Super Soba, four, eight. slice again she's using her height and her reach to get this shot as Nine, high as possible and four. thereby able to clip it down with that very steep angle and it was a perfect winner so now it's all about focus concentration You've got the lead, you're 9-4 up, you've got to capitalise on it. Make sure you don't make these unforced errors, make sure that you stay in the game, make it as tricky as possible all the time. And what a wonderful way to finish this rally, very Ten, good smash. Four. Just up the sideline. So 10-4 up. So I think we've got Hawkeye to do that one. Uncited. Review, please. The uh, lines person was unsighted, could not really see it, was very much in doubt, in or out. So I think it's wonderful that we have Hawkeye here to be able to make this decision. And it is right on the line. It's in. In. 
Suvers over. Five, ten. Play. and she's not keeping it in but everything she was doing was Six, perfect ten. very good pace getting under the knees the shuttle very nicely in control but still she made that mistake Super's over 11 6 Interval, change ends. So Takahashi goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-6 after 10 minutes. And Mitani have to pick herself up, find the answers, see if she can start perhaps playing a little bit more attacking and more in control and, and take some more initiative. I think that would suit her game very nicely. Twenty seconds. Four, one, twenty seconds. Eleven six. And as you can see, this Japanese Play. custom of uh, Greeting everyone as soon as they walk on court again. And also they do it when they leave as a courtesy and a custom in Japan. Service over. Seven, eleven. So both players here eager to get a good start after the mid-game interval. Again, here we saw the, the pace and the pressure from Takahashi. Wild. Really Seven. moving Mitani around on the court, eventually forcing the mistake in the deep forehand corner. Good attacking clears. Good play by Mitani. Really blocking that Super very nicely. Sober. Getting into it, making Eight. sure that 12. she's getting it as high as possible. Look at that. And it's very, very sharp, that drop shot. Well played. Play so on. Mitani is 2 1 up after the mid game interval. in that's in oh that's well left i'm sitting right behind this uh, sideline challenges so uh, out but i think it's i don't know it was difficult for me to see because uh, takahashi was then standing in the way as as it was landing so uh, let's see what hawkeye has got to say about that uh, just out I think it was right of Mitani to take challenge the chance and make the challenge. One challenge remaining. She's still got one to go, and uh, it's becoming a crucial Super stage Sober. in this match. So, uh, 13, had it gone eight, her way, I think it would have been a, an excellent way of uh, using one of her challenges. A 
again. Here we see this beautiful reverse cross court drop over. shot from the backhand Nine, side 13. from Mitani. She's really, really playing as well. Look at this. So sharp. Fourteen nine. Fifteen nine. So it's been some very important points for Takahashi here. Thirteen nine now fifteen nine. And that is just building her lead to six points. The biggest so far. And here's probably to seven points, yes. She here is on a roll, Mitani nine. find it very tough to stay in the match, making uh, some mistakes here. But uh, I think it's all due to the fact that Takahashi has also picked up her game. She is playing a, a faster pace and putting in a lot of pressure. If you look at that clear and that cross-court smash there. Some really stretching Mitani here. She's stretched again and she's stretched again. Look at that, the pace, but she is staying in there. And you never know. There she had the opportunity. Uh, that's an awesome rally. Really, really good rally. Absolutely the best rally of, the uh, of, the, of this match. So far, by far the best rally in this match. Good play. 18-9. Look at how hard Mitani had to work on this one and this one. She was always trailing, but then suddenly she had the chance when she played that one there. But look at the reply. That's awesome play by Takahashi. And that's going out. So, a margin of 10 19, points, 19-9. Out. Two, Two is over. 19. 10, 19. Hey. And here, another example of how she's reaching it Two high, getting a good ankle 20. on it, very steep. Point 10. And now I've got 10 match points to wrap up this game and match. Super Sova, 11, 20.
Yeah, that was a chance to take. And delighted. Takahashi, the tall left-hander, came through in three games. The last two games, quite comfortably, 21-12, 21-11, and losing the first, 21-17. Match won by Sayaka Takahashi, 17-21, 21-12, 21-11. So, she has now confirmed her place in tomorrow's final. And as I said earlier, I'm sure she's very delighted. And that will add on good points on her world ranking. At the moment, she's 19 and she's obviously chasing that top 10.